is Katie. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I don't think I've ever done before. And so I'm really, really excited to kind of like try it out, test it out, see if you guys like it. I'm going to be doing kind of a full face of my monthly favorites in terms of makeup and skincare. And then obviously I'm going to be doing my hair as well. So yeah, if you like my makeup videos and you like skincare videos, then please let me know in the comments and I can do more of these. But yeah, let's just get started. So I have most of my makeup laid out in front of me. There's a lot of it. There's absolutely a lot of it. If you've seen kind of like my makeup collection videos, you'll know I have a lot of makeup. But just like with most people who use makeup, we sometimes gravitate towards the same things every day or generally or a lot of the time. And so I'm going to tell you some new things that I've purchased recently and or that I've been using for a while, but that I just have been loving this month. And I'm going to be putting them on my face. So essentially, I'm just going to be doing my makeup with my favorites for the past like month. Does that make sense? Does that sound cool? Cool. Are you too distracted with how bad my hair is? I'm gonna do it at the end of the video. <laughs> so I'll also, if I do move my hair and you can see this, this is a heat pack that I just have. So just in case you're like, what is that? You can't actually really see it, but I just wanted to point it out just in case I have a heat pack on my shoulders. So anyway, let's get started. So I already did put my moisturizer on, which is the Ren Bio Retinoid. By the way, I know I sound out of breath. I just like ran up the stairs <laughs> and so, I know. So my skincare, I just used two things for the day. I washed my face with the Suki Skincare, it's like their purifying foaming cleanser or something, which I love. You can get on the Suki Skincare website. And then I used a scrub that I do not remember the name of at all. Oh my gosh, I use it every day and I love it. Can't remember the name, I'll put it right here. And then for my moisturizer, I used the Ren Bio Retinoid Anti-Aging Cream. I love this. I love this. I love it. It's real good. It's real good if you have dry skin or like aging skin because it's anti-aging and I just, I love this. And then my eye cream, this I actually just bought. So this is not like a super recommendation because I've just been using it for a few days. It's the Skin Fix Brightening Eye Cream. That's it. I got it at like TJ Maxx. This I got at Sephora. This I got at TJ Maxx. It's nice so far. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. So for primer, I don't really have like a favorite, but I do have one that I've been using. But I don't really know if it's like my favorite. I am one of those people who I don't think I've ever really found a primer that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so necessary. But the primer that I've been using pretty regularly is the Pure Correcting Primer, this little white one. It's kind of a hybrid between like a pore filling and a moisturizing primer. So I kind of like it. I don't know why I have my glasses on. Can't, don't, no. So I generally put it in this area. Like kind of just my T-zone essentially. And then just anything extra, I spread out a little bit more. And it does make my face feel incredibly smooth. So I do like it for that. Without anything on top of it, um, I guess it fills my pores a little bit. But I don't notice too, too, too much of a difference when I put my foundation on or anything, but I just am continuing to use it. Okay, so then onto foundation, and this is honestly one of my favorite foundations I've ever used in my entire life. I'm not even exaggerating, I love this. It's called the Pacifica A Light Clean Foundation. I have a few shades, and the shade I think that best match me is Neutral Light, which is 34 NL. I, you guys, this is a, it's oil-free anti-shine and satin finish. It's essentially a pretty natural finish, but like with a little bit of glow in it. And I haven't noticed it get any extra shiny in terms of like when I use any other foundations, just how I get a little bit shiny here throughout the day. And this just kind of does the same. Like it's not any extra, even though it is satin finish. That makes sense. So anyway, I'm just gonna use this. I've been using a brush lately out of pure laziness, like literally pure laziness. I feel like it's so much easier to use a brush, even though I think I like the application of a sponge better. But anyway, the brush I'm using today is the Sonia Kashuk Buffing Foundation Brush. I also use pretty frequently the Eco Tools Wonder Cover Complexion. I actually probably use this one a little bit more frequently. Neither are my more favorite. They're pretty equal but I just keep them in separate places. Like I keep this one in my big makeup kit and I keep this one in my travel one because it comes with a little case. So I use this one more because I'm generally doing my makeup with my big makeup kit. But anyway, okay, so I'm just gonna put this on and I usually use about a pump and a half. I don't need much more than that. And yeah, I'm gonna put this on. Come here, my dear, there's something that I gotta say to you and only you. Okay, and I just kind of like like do little swipes and then buff, like swipe swipe and buff, you know? And then where there's any streaks, I just kind of buff in like a little bit smaller 
streaks, <laughs> you know what I mean? To kind of get those little stripes away or those little brush marks away. Okay, so that's how that looks on me. If you can tell anything, I don't know what you can tell. Yeah, again, I just love this foundation. It's not too, too full coverage. I do add concealer over like the extra spots that I want a little bit more coverage, but just the finish of this, you guys, I'm just obsessed with. And so the concealer that we're going in with today, I think I've talked about once or twice on my channel. It's the Josie Marin Vibrancy Argan Oil Full Coverage Concealer Fluid in the color Fair. This is my favorite concealer that I've probably ever purchased. A close second is the CoverFX Power Play in G Light 1. But this is just, oh my gosh, you guys. The Josie Marin Foundation, garbage, pure garbage. But this concealer, that, that foundation is way too oily. Like, oh my gosh, oily. And my skin is pretty like dry, normal, a little combo. Like I get a little oily throughout the day, but like not a lot and it's generally dry over the rest of my face. And even with having pretty dry normal skin, this foundation, the Argan Oil foundation, was way, way, way too oily for me, but the concealer is perfection. And so I'm just gonna kind of put this, I always put a little bit of extra concealer around my mouth because my mouth is not very outlined. So I'm just gonna do that, put it over some imperfection that I want covered up, and then put some under my eyes, and I'm gonna add, because this is the lightest shade they have, and it's still not light enough if I want any highlight under my eyes. It's basically the color of my skin. So I'll just go in and add something that's a little bit lighter. I just have the ColourPop Concealer in Fair 04. This is not a favorite, it's just I have it and uh, the color like mixed in works well. But it's, like I don't hate it obviously because I still have it, but it's just definitely not up there with those other concealers. So I'm just gonna press this in especially when you want to do any concealing wiping like swiping like i was doing before with the actual foundation we'll just take it all off and so this is a much more like pouncing motion in terms of more spot concealing that's what i do at least and then under here i kind of do a mixture of a, like a little swipe a little swipey a little dotty a little whatever and this, it says full coverage, the Argan Oil. I don't find it full coverage, but to be fair, my dark circles are so dark that I don't think I've really found anything that actually fully, fully covers it. So I'm good with this being as full coverage as it says. I'm good with how it looks under my eyes. Um, again, it doesn't fully, fully cover my under eye circles, but that's just because mine are really, really bad. So you can see like there's still more. And you can put on another layer, but I just... Sometimes I'll do that, but I feel like usually I don't even bother. Okay, so that's good. So that's kind of my base done. And I know it looks, actually on camera it looks a little pale, which is so weird because I didn't think I could get any paler than like my neck or like my hands, but I will add bronzer and stuff. So that's fine. So I will go in and powder a little bit. I don't love powdering a lot because my skin is pretty dry. So when I powder, I just haven't found a powder that like doesn't make me look cakey. So if you guys have a recommendation of a powder, especially an under eye powder that does not make you look cakey, please let me know in the comments because I have not found anything. But right now I'm just gonna use this Too Faced Banana Powder. It's called Banana Cream. It's like really cute packaging. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and put it under my eye. I'm not gonna put a lot here because that's where I usually get really cakey. So just kind of do it out here to try to prevent some of the creasing and then maybe just like a little swipe in the front, but it just always looks cakey on me, just always. So I'm also, especially here too, gets cakey. So I don't really, like I'll just put a little bit of powder, but, and then here is fine. So I'll put a little bit of powder here, just sometimes, not even all the time. Also, how's the lighting, horrible? Hopefully I can brighten this a little bit in editing. But anyway, so a little bit of powder, just kind of the rest of my face. And by a little, I mean a little, like a little. Okay, then I'm gonna do eyebrows because I don't know how you guys feel, but oh, I feel so weird without my eyebrows done. So we're gonna put some eyebrows on. And my favorite, oh, by the way, this is not necessarily like a favorite favorite. This is just what I use because I haven't found like a more favorite. And yeah, this is just, yeah. Okay, but my favorite eyebrow pencil, oh, you guys. I didn't know I could like an eyebrow pencil this much because I generally don't like eyebrow pencils. I generally like powders the most. And pencils just to me, I don't know, just, I just haven't found a favorite. Like the Benefit ones are good, the Anastasia ones are good, but this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer 
ultra fine tip shaping pencil in dark brunette <sighs> like i just didn't know that i could love an eyebrow pencil this much i just honestly didn't and so i found this got it at ulta for like nine dollars or something ridiculous and it's the new love of my life so okay um this mirror is disgustingly dirty i can't even see out of it anymore so let's just use this mirror and which is also dirty cool 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 i'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick i've done this in a video in the past so i'm not going to like really show you but essentially i just kind of fill them in so i will um do this a little bit just so you can kind of see but i do have videos on this i have like one dedicated eyebrow video so if you want to see i'll link it up here but yeah i'm just gonna fast forward through this really quick so give me your attention take the words right out my mouth so gonna feel. Oh, and the reason that I like this so much is it's like the perfect middle ground for me between creamy and stiff. And it just is so, so, so easy to work with. And the color matches me like perfectly. So I just, I love it. Okay, I know that they like look really dark, but that's just because I don't really have any other makeup on. So I am done with that. And then I don't really have like a favorite, favorite brow gel, but this one's like, okay. This is the e.l.f. Wow Brow, and this is the color Deep Brown. I definitely also have the color Medium Brown, which I would use if it was right in front of me, but it's not, so we're just gonna use this one because it's totally fine. Yeah, just to kind of keep them up a little bit. This has like little fibers in it which I honestly like really like the idea of, but I never really see a difference. Okay, eyebrows are done. I'm just gonna finish up the face really, really quickly before we get into eyes. So bronzer is another thing that I do not have a favorite of. I have some that I like, but I just don't have a super favorite. I love that I'm like, this video is all my favorites, and then every other one, I'm like, eh, I don't really have a favorite. So I like this one. Let's go in with this one. It's the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in Fair to Light. I kind of wish I got light to medium because it's very light um so i just kind of go in a lot with it and i got this from tj maxx i believe tj maxx has some really good makeup guys and i'm just using a real techniques blush brush i think it's called i don't know this one just says 400 on it this is like a newer one like a different color even but see it's a very like if you want a natural bronze i actually do like this for a natural bronze look but since my eyebrows are so dark i'll probably go with a darker just everything today so i'm just gonna kind of go in a little heavier with this okay so i always go here and then i go like this on my nose because i feel like if you're getting sun you're gonna get some sun right here and so i feel like it just i don't know looks nice and then i have a pretty decently sized forehead so i always add some bronzer up there sometimes i will go in and contour and kind of the only difference is contour at least in my uh definition of it it's a little bit more directed like it's generally a little bit smaller and it's sometimes a different color like a very matte color and usually like just something that makes it actually look like a shadow on your skin which is going to be a different tone depending on your skin tone but i just didn't go in and contour today so whatever it doesn't i mean you know but when i do contour i usually use this anastasia shadow stick foundation in the color contour which is a very like cool toned matte matte like a light-ish brown so i use that i do like that a lot don't know why i didn't go with that today i just kind of didn't think about it especially because i put that powder on first but and you generally don't put cream over powder and so i just do this up here again how's that that's okay i'm actually gonna go in a little bit of a lighter bronzer just a little bit so i'm going to use the pure uh, illuminating bronzer this one's much darker so i'm going to use this with a lighter hand because my skin is pretty light but so yeah and also if you guys are like oh my gosh you didn't finish like doing something like something on my face looks off i will get it later i don't have my glasses on so i cannot really see what you guys are seeing right now and I, once I put my glasses on later or put contacts in or something, I'll be able to see more. So if I need to blend more, I will see it later. <laughs> okay. 
this, 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 cool, cool, cool. Okay, now my favorite blush, and this has actually been one of my favorite blushes for a while, is in this little Tarte Duo. It's called the Blush and Glow in Peach Glow, which is weird because I would never say that this is peach, like at all, but this blush, you guys, I don't know if it's focusing at all, but it's just the prettiest, is that focusing? Yeah, maybe. I, I literally can't tell. I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. It's just like the prettiest pink. Maybe it's a little peachy. I wouldn't call it peachy, but I don't know. I'm just gonna put that right on the apples of my cheeks. And again, if I need to blend this better, I will when I see it later with my glasses. <laughs> it's very weird putting makeup on when you have to wear glasses, cause like, you kinda can't see. <laughs> Oh cool, the lighting completely changed. Is that worse or better? I have no idea. But anyway, the blush is on. Now for my favorite highlight. Oh man, okay, I have two. Let's just go on both. I'm kind of one of those people you can't have too much highlight, you know? Okay, so my two favorites for the past, honestly, like six weeks at least that I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't live without these. How does anyone live without these? Are the pure, just highlighter. There's just one, it's called Afterglow. This is the most beautiful thing in the entire world. And then the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amreezy highlight, which is a little bit like, this one's a little bit yellowy-er. But I love them both so, 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 so much. So we're gonna put the Afterglow, the pure one on, and then a little bit of the Amreezy on top of it. And I really hope that the lighting can pick that up because it is blinding. It is blinding. And I just put it here and then I curl it up a little bit, put a teeny little bit on my nose. And if I know it's gluten free, because I have a gluten allergy, so I don't put anything on my mouth that I know has gluten in it. This one, the pure one I know is gluten free, so I will put a little bit on my Cupid's bow. But the Amreezy one, I'm not sure if it's gluten free or not, but keeping it up here, like I'm okay with, because I don't have a touch gluten allergy. I just have like, a, if I eat it, gluten allergy. So this, the Amreezy, I'm just gonna take a little bit and kind of just put it right on top, right at that high point. I, oh my gosh, I love these so much. My face looks like I need to blend it more. That's what I feel like. If, if you feel like your face looks like you need to blend it, taking the brush you use with all the product on it might not blend as well as something that just either has nothing on it or just translucent powder or powder that's the color of your skin that might help blend it a little bit better. Okay, so now let's do some eye makeup. Let's get a little bit closer. Terrifying, terrifying, terrifying. So now let's get onto the eyes. I think my favorite palette for the past month or so that I've only used maybe five or six times, but still the colors and how it blends are beautiful is this Bare Minerals Nudes palette. I feel like they have a bunch of like nudes palettes, so I don't know how to like tell this one apart. It says look great in nudes, which is weird, but this is the one like the colors are like whipped and chance and tranquil and exquisite. They're just more, I've been into more cool toned colors lately. And so I hope that that's focused. I know it's upside down, but these are a little bit more cool toned. There is a cream, there is a black. It's obviously very neutral and it's just beautiful colors. Like they're just really, really beautiful. And so I'm going to be using the eye brushes that I have been using for the past, oh gosh, when did I buy these? I don't know, at least a month I'd say, is this Jaclyn Hill and Morphe eyeshadow brush set is really, really good. So I'm just gonna use this biggest one that is the JH30. Take this cream shade and I didn't put any primer on my lids because especially for the look that I'm doing with just these neutrals, I don't really care, but I do have just a little bit of like extra concealer on there. So I'm just taking the cream shade called Whipped and just kind of putting it all over there. This eye is watering so much. It's gonna make it hard to do my eyeshadow. Okay, so just getting this down. Okay, so I'm gonna do, it's gonna be neutral, but I'm gonna do like a mildly intense neutral look. I don't know, we'll see what happens. So then I'm gonna use the JH32, which is a, just like a another blending crease brush. And I'm going to take just some of these matte medium neutrals and just kind of mix them together and go in the crease, but mostly focus on the outer 
half outer two thirds of my eye. So I'm also just putting that some on my lid again, going about about like two thirds, like I'm going to about here. And then I'm going to take that bigger brush and blend. I did not put any more product on it. It just has a little bit of that cream shadow on. It's going to blend the edges on that. That looks fine. Again, the lighting is horrible and you can't really see. So how's that? Fine. Can you tell? I don't know. So I'm going to take Sonnet, which is like a dark, almost like an army green. It's not very dark, but it's more like a medium ish dark army green brown color. And it does have glitter in it, but it's not very shimmery. It's, it's weird. It's like a matte, but with some glitter, I'm going to put that on my outer edge of my eyelid. I'm going to go about halfway in. Okay, then I'm, oh, that was with the JH33. I'm taking the JH32 again and blending just in the crease. And then I'm going to take the 33 again and kind of do that one more time. I'm going to just pack it on and then I'm going to blend. Okay, so now it looks like that. So then I'm going to take my finger and I'm using Guest Star, which is a metallic-y, like, taupey color. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner, inner, like, one-third of my eye. It's a little bit harder to do that when you have fake nails on that I bought from Target and glued on myself, P.S. They're, I think, like, Kiss. And they came like this. I don't know, again, with the focus and stuff, but they came with a French manicure on it. But... There are some that come with a very harsh French manicure, and then there are some that come with like a natural French manicure. I got the natural French manicure, like oval ones. So then I'm going to take a little brush, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe JH42. Make sure there's no dark eyeshadow on it. And I'm going to take Opulescence. Opulescence? Opulescence? Opu it's a very, very shimmery, like, like a pinky white. And I'm going to put that under my brow bone. And in my inner corner. It's not going to stay on this side because this eye is so freaking watery. But, And then I'm going to take another small-ish brush, which is the JH40. And I'm just going to take those three that I blended before, those three matte shades. And I'm just going to run those under my bottom lash line. Okay, and since I want that to be a little bit darker, I'm going to take a more like structured, it's like kind of like a like a thick pencil brush. It's the JH39, and I'm going to just take one of those medium-ish shades and run that a little bit closer, a little bit more directly on my bottom lash line. Okay, so that's kind of all I'm going to do for that. And then there are some people who like to put a white or a nude colored eyeliner in their waterline because it makes your eyes look bigger. I honestly don't love the look of that nine times out of 10. What I like doing is putting a black eyeliner because I'm okay with my eyes looking a little bit smaller. I like kind of when they look that extra smoky. My favorite black eyeliner, oh my goodness, is the Maybelline with Gigi Hadid gel eyeliner, just in black. Put it in my waterline and my tight line, just obsessed. I don't love that it's a pencil because if you don't sharpen it right, you could stab yourself in the eye. Do you guys remember last year, or was that like two years ago, that I stabbed myself in the eye with an unsharpened pencil and I scratched my eye and it was hoo 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 hoo. That, that, that was not a fun time. But anyway, I put this in my, I know that if you don't do this, this looks terrifying but you get used to it. You can like kind of pull your eyelid down a little bit if that makes you feel better, but I don't need to do that and it like will cause extra wrinkles, so I don't do that. Just make sure that this is sharpened and uh, I think you'll be fine. I'm gonna stop talking now, so, so I don't mess up. See, like, I just like that it looks a little bit smokier. I don't know, just, I mean, my preference. I just like it like that on my eyes. Then, my favorite eyelash curler is this Tweezer Man for round eyes eyelash curler. I use this every single day. I don't know if I'll ever even try a new one because I love this one so much. And then the mascara, ah, uh, okay. So I kind of have a few. I really like the Monsieur Big by Lancome. I really like Bad Gal Bang by Benefits. So I'm gonna curl my lashes, put like 45 coats of this on, and then I'll be right back. Also, I know if you've never done this before, this also looks terrifying. And this is mildly terrifying. 
So I almost always get mascara on my top lid, but you just have to wait until it dries and then you can kind of like flick it off. Instead of if you did it right now, you just smear it everywhere. Even though sometimes I do try to get it off when it's still wet, but it's just a dumb idea because you just smear it and ruin your eyeshadow. And also, yes, I do go curl mascara, curl mascara because I feel like it just holds better. And then sometimes when my mascara is completely dry, I will go in and curl again. And then that like really holds the curl in my eyelashes. Okay, so if you do not like clumpy lashes, you are not gonna like that veil bang, but I, Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. We're almost done. Just need some lips. Okay. So my favorite lip liner. Oh mama. Okay. Is the Dose of Colors new lip liners. They just came out, I don't know, like a month ago or something. I have a few colors. The only problem is that I feel like I can't find a color that I'm like obsessed with, but I love the formula so much. And a bunch of the colors are like close. You know what I mean? But this is the color casual, which is like a pinky nude which is just kind of my jam and oh boy okay love this so i'm gonna line my lips overline a little bit just a little bit and then uh yeah okay overline i filled in a little bit and then honestly you guys i have so many favorite lipsticks like just so many. This Melted Matte, Too Faced in the Color of Holy Chic, beautiful. Anastasia Pure Hollywood, oh my gosh, one of my favorites. I know the lighting's getting weird, I'm sorry. This Tarte Lipstick in Beach Babe is beautiful. And the Tarte in Bare Bud in this like cardboard packaging, also beautiful. Like a lot of nudes. The only honestly red lipsticks that I have are the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip in Fight Free Reticles. And I have the... Uh, Fenty Beauty liquid lip in whatever the red color is called and I love that as well But I'm just gonna put a nude on right now. I'm probably gonna put on Okay, so let me zoom you out. You do not need to be this close. That is the wrong way. Okay Okay, so I'm just gonna put on the Tarte Bare Bud lipstick. It's just a very very neutral color really really like it Oh my lips are real chapped. Why didn't you guys tell me? They're real chapped, oh boy. And then my favorite, oof, my favorite lip gloss, actually it's tied, it's like kind of tied for two at this point. The Beauty by Pop Sugar lip glosses, the Be The Boss lip glosses, freaking love these. But then also the Fenty lip gloss in, what is it, like Fussy or something, the new pink one. Those are like really tied. I'm gonna use one of the Beauty by Pop Sugar ones in the color Womanizer, which is their lightest one. Not that this needs a lip gloss because it's already so glossy. Just the lipstick alone is pretty glossy, but I just love these. They are just so like, I think I was wearing one of these once and I had a few people in the comments think that I had lip injections. And I'm like, no, I'm just wearing lip gloss and overlined a little bit. Okay, again, I know that my lips are real chapped, but look at how juicy. Okay, so, and then setting spray, I just kind of don't really use I'm like not the biggest setting spray person, but I'm gonna use the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Setting Spray. You gotta watch out with this one though. Honestly, like I'm gonna cover my body with a towel, just like a little, like just right here. Like I'm gonna put like a little bib on because uh, it's literally white charcoal and if it gets on you, it's little like white specks. Oh, and I forgot the mist on this is not that fine. And so it's, better if you do this and kind of go into it a little bit but anyway it's totally fine because i like how it works i like how it makes my skin look except i usually like to put setting spray on before i put mascara on because then i feel like it makes my mascara wet okay and here's a little interruption <laughs> to show you guys what makeup looks like after i looked at myself with glasses on <laughs> and then did a little bit more blending fixed kind of the front of my eyebrows because they were a little strong blend my eyeshadow a little bit more blend my face a little bit more so this is like the final final look yeah let's just do my hair real quick just like real real quick okay so my favorite dry shampoo of all time hands down is this ogx dry shampoo the argan oil of morocco one this like little blue one they have a full size one obviously too this is just like the travel size but i just love this so much and so how i dry shampoo my hair i don't know why i put my glasses back on how i dry shampoo my hair i just stick with the roots and this one smells so good too some dry shampoos smell like Oh, you have dry shampoo in your hair. This one just smells good. Like, it just smells nice. Oh, 
Okay, so I don't bother to do it at my ends because my ends generally don't get oily. If anything, they get dry, like these look pretty dry. And so you put it in and you kind of let it wait for like 15, 20 seconds. And then you do this. You just kind of like zhuzh it. And then it takes all the oil out. And they obviously have like tons of different dry shampoos. Some like are volumizing, some are like more intense than others. I also just got like the IGK, like super, super intense dry shampoo that's like charcoal or something. I like that IGX one a lot too. And that's a very, very intense one. This one's still pretty intense. Some of them I honestly like I'll use and I feel like they didn't do anything. So this, yeah, is one of my favorites. Let me get my brush real quick. Cause this is a little ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to go just quickly run a flat iron through my hair. I'm just going to really just keep it like this, but then just flat iron this, flat iron this, uh, and then flat iron just a couple of pieces at my roots. And then uh, that's really all I'm going to do with my hair today. So I will be right back. Okay, so here is my hair all done. Just ran a flat iron through it a few times. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments because I can do videos like this every couple months or so because I'm obviously going to have like new favorite products. And so yeah, again, here's like the finished look. Really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you're not already. And yeah, I'll see you in next week's video. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.